All right, as I said, as I put it in the microwave, it's gonna be tough driving. I should be gnawing on one of those, but I'm not gonna. Oh, this is lucky. We can make this. You stay on the cooler bin if you want. Here you come. Oh, that was 15. took the t-shirt off my lap but I'm gonna keep it here to protect him from the Sun and this is a hilltop RV and I made a mistake in the past hilltop has two locations there's here in Escanaba and from what I can tell it's kind of the only uh, RV places up here are coming in. Take it off cruise because Eddie's about to drop down a gear. Alright, so seriously, isn't that pretty? UP is beautiful. To me, it, it kind of feels like going to Alaska. It's nothing like going to Alaska, but you know, I'm eight and a half hours away from making it to the UP in Ohio and you feel a million miles away some places and in some places you get a little urban stuff kid walking out in the middle of nowhere texting on his cell phone be safe kid <laughs> yeah I'm telling you carry on from that last video <laughs> I can really smell the cross between Kudagi and Pasty it's a tough drive but I'll be good and hungry by the time I get there a Kudagi comparison for lunch and then I'll eat a pasty for dinner and I, I show the pasties in there, so. and then uh, share a little bit with my friend up here and then my friend heading out from the west well, a couple days away I would think two three days away Beautiful miles to Berga. Sorry about the wind noise and the GoPro hitting the windshield. Funny. I'll wait to find some more tree stuff so it doesn't get super long. It's a Uper vlog. It's it's nothing. <laughs> My travels. Jeez. I think the last three years, most of my travels have been to Lake Superior. This. This time, because of COVID, I'm not talking about COVID, changed my plans. My friend changed my plans this fall. I had something else in mind, but I'm not complaining again. And then maybe it was two years ago that I did the circle of uh, Lake Superior, which one day I might repeat that trip because that was awesome. Before that, it was the Dakotas. I guess I really do like the North Woods. Maybe I'll do Key West again one of these days. But we'll see. There'll be a little bit of time lapse and some music. Hope you enjoy that part too. This will probably be one of those trips where you see this. I might get up to this point uploaded from up here and then I don't know, it might be it might be when I'm all the way back in Ohio before the rest of the stuff gets uploaded. The stuff that'll be the new stuff that I haven't seen before. Right, we're gonna take a little break.
fix this section up pretty nice. But again, it might get old on a video, but it does it in person. Come enjoy to you. I gotta remind people, this is a 21 year old RV, so if it's windy especially, you're gonna hear some road noise. It's not a brand new car. I apologize for that. Seems like most people can hear it pretty well though. see you can't see that is the Ojibwa campground right on the lake and in the woods and I see campers out there very nice if you want to come to Bear Grass, stay there if you're going up to copper and you're like tired and you're like oh I need a place to camp camp there don't go to Bear Grass State Park The Pines Gas Station. I'll tell you what it is when I fill it up because I didn't notice the sign. Whole color blind thing. Okay, it was a buck ninety-four a gallon. This gas station in Berga always seems to have the best prices, maybe in the whole UP. Okay, so now we're gonna get on 38. I say it. This 
is the Ojibwe Casino Berga, right here on the right. They have a dozen or 15, I don't remember exactly, sites. Full hookups, I think 22 bucks a night or something. And there's about four or five of them there. And then over here on the left is a big lumber yard where I got about 10 pounds of sawdust a while back. That should last me until I'm an old, old man. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I was just saying it's probably the same for other people. Eddie was running great. I gassed him up and he's like not running as great. And then I looked up and you can't really tell on the video. And I can't tell till I get closer to him. But I'm in a dead headwind. The tops of the trees are moving pretty good. You can't see the movement lower as much, but it's there. But he's still running good. Closing in on Aunt Noggin. I got a little lilt in my voice. And I just went by a flag and it's it's whipping good, so yeah. And I I must have hit a mustard bug after I just cleaned the windshield. It is bright yellow. Luckily it's in my view, not in yours. Hopefully that t-shirt is uh, stopping the glare. That lilt is in my voice, so I'm getting close to Aunt Noggin, but I'm telling you, I don't know, I don't think I'll be back to the UP next year. I got a big trip planned, hopefully everything cooperates. No, we're not going to go to the North Pole on the next big trip, but we're going to take a big trip, hopefully, that's my plan, when spring comes around. bit in about the Pasty stop at Gene K's. I spoke to Brian and he was saying luckily I caught him in a semi-slow period. Um, other than a couple came in and I was like, if, you know, I was being his advocate. I'm like, I don't work here, but these are the best pasties you're going to find. But um, he was saying his sales were the best sales he's had. They're limiting to five people in the store at a time. And he said it was all day. It didn't stop. People were lined up outside. Because, you know, again, not talking about it, but you got to wear a mask and there was no indoor dining. So lots of people were going to pick up stuff to go. And I told him that my aunt and uncle had taken their trip and their new uh, teardrop to Wisconsin and came back through the UP and they stopped and I told him I'd given them before but he was like they were even so much better fresh out of the oven so I'm glad to see that his business is doing well and I stopped in those other two stores that I stop in and they said their business was pretty good because again so many people were camping so many were, were RV traveling They thought both play all the places thought they were going to be in trouble but ended up having pretty good seasons and some people come here for the fall again I suggest it if you're in the Midwest I think it's a great place to go and they'll get busy again up here when it starts snowing all the snowmobilers It's just a beautiful day. This wind is going now. Did I mention? I think you could spend a lifetime exploring the Upper Peninsula. If you just want to go camping, any kind of camping you want to do, you see signs every five miles. There's camping all over the place. entered Aunt Noggin County. There's a lake over there I never noticed before. Must have been why there was a camping sign going that way. More camping signs. I don't know what lake this is. Alright, we're leaving 38. We're getting on 26 to go to Aunt Noggin. We're 
traffic coming my way and I can see that my uh, SD card is getting low so I'm not gonna rip shut up shut up elf boy so I can see uh, I want to arrive I want a video arriving because it makes me happy so all right on noggin on to noggin we're turning right elf boy I'm gonna shut you up degrees as I post this today it's right about peak leaves in the UP all right we're on Lakeshore I think it's so cool that somebody left the spot I wanted this morning Well, I hope you enjoyed the drive up to Ontonagon and Ontonagon Township Park and that you have a great and wonderful day. We made it. I went ahead and parked in my spot. <laughs>